Now to a Fox 5 exclusive, a mother outraged after two teens are attacked and robbed for their iPhone and Jordan sneakers, and all of this happening inside of a D.C. public library. That is our big story tonight here on Fox 5 at 10. Shamari Stone with the interview. You'll let you let you hear it again. Now to a Fox 5 exclusive, a mother outraged after two teens are attacked and robbed for their iPhone and Jordan sneakers, and all of this happening inside of a D.C. public library. That is our big story tonight here on Fox 5 at 10. Shamari Stone with the interview you'll only see on Fox 5. You know, libraries are supposed to be a sanctuary. Right now, I'm inside the Woodbridge Neighborhood Library, and I've lowered my voice because there are people Woodbridge, here I know exactly who are working. Where, I know exactly where that is, Woodbridge. That's a working class black neighborhood that, yes, it has had, it's got blocks. It's got blocks. But if you went to Woodridge, you would think you was in the suburbs. The fact that niggas act like that in Woodridge is absolutely amazing, insane. I, I got to show you what Woodridge, I may have to go to Google Maps and show y'all what Woodridge looks like. Because it's like, it doesn't look like the hood, but they have blocks there, man. I'm telling you, man. Kids, teens, families, they come here to get books, check them out, go to the computers and gain knowledge. In fact, over here, you can see these men, they're just playing chess, minding their own business. It's a peaceful place, but it was not peaceful on Monday, at least for two teens, Monday afternoon inside this library. In fact, they were here after school just to do some homework. Then all of a sudden they wanted to come over and use the computer, you know, like people do in a library. Suddenly two suspects walk up to them and say, and I'm paraphrasing, give me those shoes to one of the teens. He says, okay, no problem. They're Air Jordans like these. He hands them over. Damn. That's crazy. Some men, some men usually don't do that, man. They must have been fearful, man. And I'm paraphrasing. Give me those shoes to one of the teens. He says, okay, no problem. They're Air Jordans like these. He hands them over. Then suddenly the other suspect turned to the other teen and said, give me your phone. He also doesn't put up a fight. He reaches in his pocket, has his phone, hands it over. Then all of a sudden, police say one of the suspects starts punching the teen in the face repeatedly. They were robbed. And tonight, here, only on Fox 5, you're going to hear exclusively from one of the teens who was attacked. I, I was very panicked. I, I wasn't sure how to handle the situation. I tried to find the most rational way to, to go through with it. And yeah, I did the best I could. I, I wasn't sure this would ever happen in a library. I've been to that library for many, many years, and I, I never knew something so, so horrid could happen. Now, after the robbery, the two suspects walked right out of the door, got in a car, and drove away. Now, we reached out to D.C. Public Library officials, and they tell us that an officer is assigned to this library. Now, I talked to the teen who we interviewed and asked him, where was the officer when all of this was going on? He says that the officer was on the first floor, and the robbery happened on the second floor. Well, D.C. Public Library officials tell us that they are looking into adding more security at the Woodridge Neighborhood Library. You need more security at the fucking library. <laughs> hey, the robbery, the robbery didn't um, scratch the guy's itch. He had to uh, get violent with the kid, too. not peaceful. Exactly. It was, it, exactly. Exactly. I, I I think though it came from a different angle because I think once you seen how weak those kids were because you see that kid's not like a hood kid he's like a you know he's he's the type of kid that hang out in the library like you know what I'm saying and once they felt his energy of being soft like they gave the shit up they didn't put up a fight it just makes you want to you know what I'm saying something like DC dudes they hate bitch ass niggas like you know what I'm saying like they they hate bitch ass niggas. Like if you, if they see you as weak, they also see you as stupid. So it's like they don't. They see you as somebody who deserves what you get if you're weak. You know what I'm saying? Is it? It's just just the way they are. So it's like when that's something when they, when they gave that shit up. They lost total respect for him, so they gave him a beating just, just for being, you know, pussies.
I guess. <laughs> well, it was. I think it was DNA first off, and then second, you know, a lot of cats be uh going to the extent, even though they grab the stuff, they want to beat them down, is to make a point so that this way they don't uh, try to retaliate. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know about that kid though. He he doesn't seem like the type to yeah. retaliate. No, it's just it's just programming. You know what I mean? Like that DNA is automatic. They don't think; they just do. Impulse yeah, control. The library. What's up, Quick Kim? Yo, what's good, y'all? What's happening? Uh, ain't nothing much. Ain't nothing much happening, man. Library is a rough spot, man. How about in Chicago? You having these problems at libraries? Uh, no, nah, the only problem we have at libraries is fucking, uh, like homeless people in front stealing the Wi Fi and shit. That's about it. Yeah, this is crazy, man. Um, shout out to that kid, man. I'm sorry that happened to that kid, man. Um, oh, uh, no, 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 we did have a situation at the library, but it's like high school kids after school went in there and, like, uh, it was this lady, like it was a glider lady in the, uh, some people community, like, you know what I'm saying, while I work. And she was walking uh, from the library and some high school kids just literally just beat the shit out of her. And like, stole, yeah, it was bad, man. It was bad. It was, they, they just beat the shit out of her and stole like her phone and her bag and shit. And like the police took forever to come. So she was pissed and shit. But yeah, that was like the only situation is that like libraries, they do, they stand over there and she looked like a target. So they just beat her ass and stuff and robbed her. Mm. 